Blu-ray discs use a similar subtitle format to DVD. In both cases, the subtitles are essentially just simple images with timing information that tells a player when to start and stop displaying each one. That means you can easily convert subtitles extracted from a DVD to a format suitable for Blu-ray authoring. BD Sub to Sub is a tool designed for converting subtitles, or more accurately sub-pictures, from one graphic format to another. In this guide, we will be converting DVD subtitles extracted in IDX and sub format to the BDN XML format required by some Blu-ray authoring applications. Before using the guide, you will need to have your subtitles extracted from the DVD, which you can do with various programs, including Bob Sub and Make MKV. You will also need to install BD Sub to Sub along with the Java runtime environment. You can download both from Afterdon's software area. Before you open the subtitle file you extracted from your DVD, you should consider whether you want BD Sub to Sub to make invisible subtitles visible. Subtitles which have no alpha channel information will not be visible on the screen. Missing alpha channel data can happen during subtitle extraction. I recommend setting this to on, checked, unless you run into a subtitle file that doesn't look right that way, in which case turn it back off. Now you can open your extracted subtitle file. Select either the index file which has an extension of .idx or the subtitle file with an extension of .sub to open the pair. BD Sub to Sub will now scan your file. You will be notified if there are any potential problems with it. We will look at those problems in just a minute. After you click OK on the Information dialog, the Conversion Options dialog will appear. Most of these options won't be important for the majority of conversions, so we won't be discussing them here. If you need to change the speed or size of the subtitles, you can watch After Dawn's video guides for those operations or read the guide on our website. The one option you most likely will want to consider for most DVD to Blu-ray subtitle conversions is called Fix Two Short Frames. Checking it will ensure every subtitle is set to display for at least half a second. You can also increase or decrease the minimum display time by changing the number of milliseconds. Keep in mind that 1000 milliseconds equals one second. If any potential problems are found, you will see them listed in the log area, where you will also see what, if anything, was done to correct the problems. Note the error messages from my subtitle stream. Some subtitles had a duration which was too short, meaning less than half a second. Since I had fixed two short frames checked, the times have been adjusted accordingly. Others had no alpha channel, meaning they won't show up at all. This was also corrected thanks to the fix invisible frame setting I talked about at the beginning of this guide. With your files now loaded and scanned, you can select a particular subtitle to preview using the drop-down list in the top left corner of the main window. The top pane shows the original subtitle as read from the file extracted from your DVD. The bottom pane shows what it will look like after converting. Depending on how your subtitles were extracted, you may see color differences between the two. The last setting you will need to check is the output format. Make sure it is set to XML slash PNG. You can now return to the file menu to export your subtitles in BDN XML format. The BDN XML format 
uses a single file for each subtitle image. In other words, if there are a thousand separate subtitles, there will also be a thousand different image files. Putting each subtitle stream in a separate folder will help avoid confusion later on, particularly if you have more than one set of subtitles to deal with. You may also need to set the language. This setting is read by a Blu-ray player when it selects a subtitle. Finally, you're ready to export your subtitles. When the export is completed, you should end up with a single XML file containing instructions for the authoring program and a single PNG file for each subtitle. 